Hey guys, me here. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily and quickly cut and layer your own hair at home. Now if you're looking to cut your hair in a particular style, then it's best to go to a hairstylist, but this method is great if you want to get rid of some split ends, remove some length, and add fresh layers to your hair. So if you want to learn how to do this, then keep on watching. First you'll need a hair straightener because your hair needs to be pinned straight so you can see where the layers are. You'll also need a hairbrush, four hair ties, and hair cutting scissors. So I have these ones that are very sharp. And if you want, you can also get some thinning scissors that look like this. They basically have teeth on one end and a sharp blade on the other. And I'll link all these things in the video description below. Before you start cutting, you want to gather your hair into a high ponytail and tie it at the top of your head. Now from my experience, I noticed that where you position the ponytail is quite important because if you position it right at the top of your head near the front of your face like what I'm doing here, you're going to get more layers in the front and less at the back so you keep more of your length. But if you move your ponytail closer to the back of your head, you're going to get more layers at the back. Grab a second hair tie and tie it right where your chin is. This is just going to keep the hair all in place so that it remains straight. And with the third hair tie, you want to tie it where you're going to cut it off. So since I'm going to get rid of some length today, I'm going to tie it 4 inches from the tip. You want to save an extra inch for the feathering part. So if you want to get rid of 5 inches of hair, tie your hair at 4 inches like what I'm doing here. Next, grab a pair of scissors and just cut the ponytail off. As you can see, all the split ends are basically gone at this point since I got rid of them. And now you just have a blunt cut. Next, remove the hair tie and divide your hair into three equal sections. Depending on how thick your hair is, you might need to divide it into four sections because we're basically going to work with one section at a time. After you divide your ponytail, tie each of them separately so that they don't get mixed up. In the following step, you want to soften the bluntness of each section by point cutting. To do this, all you have to do is use your fingers as a guide and slide them horizontally down your hair, then cut into the ends of your hair using the points of the scissors. And so what this will do is it will soften the bluntness and it will also create an even trim. When that's done, I like to thin the ends out a bit more by using my thinning scissors and basically this will just thin out the ends and feather them out even more. Move on to the next section of hair and repeat. So point cut and then thin out the ends. Now if you don't have those thinning scissors, no worries, you can just use the point cutting technique. All you have to do is point the ends of your scissors closer up to your hair and that will get rid of some of the thickness. If you want all your layers to look soft and feathered at the end, you want to point cut into your hair even higher than what I'm doing. And I did this last time, if you look at my before picture, the ends were very feathered and it was drying out a bit. So this time I'm just going to point cut it a bit so that it looks thicker and fuller. Finally, when all three sections are done, you want to remove the hair tie and check out to see if it's even. If you see some strands that are longer, just grab your scissors and continue to point cut. If you can recall, the initial cut was really blunt, now it's much softer and even. Now I'm going to show you how far I usually cut my hair. So if you still want long hair, just cut it right in the middle of your sternum. But if you want medium length hair, just cut it right below your clavicle, which is about right over here. I think this method of cutting hair is pretty foolproof, so if you want to, just experiment by cutting your hair a bit more. You can always release it to see if it's long or short, and then you can always tie it up again. And now the moment you've all been waiting for to see if I actually messed up or not. <laughs> so this is what my hair looks like after I let it down. And one of the reasons why I like this method is that you end up with even layers at the front of your face. So if you can see here, all my layers are even. But the only thing is I find that they're still a little bit too thick, maybe because I didn't point cut enough. So I'm just going to grab my thinning shears again and I'm just going to thin out the ends to give it a more feathered look. When you thin out the ends of your layers with your thinning scissors, you want to point the scissors at an angle because that's the way the layers are falling. And as you can see, my layers start pretty low and I did that for a reason because if your layers start too high and you do braids and things like that, the hair will stick out of the braid. So if you braid your hair often, it's best to start your layers lower. 
And yes, I'm aware that I need to tone my hair and touch up my roots, but I'm preggle right now, so I don't want to smell the chemicals. Here's the completed look from the front and the back. I just added some soft layers and got rid of some length. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you ever give this a try, don't forget to show me your pictures on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Ciao!